Shout out to Colton on Patreon for seven months of support. Get weekly goods, tutorial files, mockups, templates, items from my store, and more, as well as supporting the free tutorials on this channel. Check out my Patreon in the description below. What's up guys, Quezzy or Noah here, bringing you guys another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create football jerseys in Photoshop um, using some mockup templates. Now the one I'm gonna be using in this video is this American football jersey template mockup plus helmet template mockup from my website template fc uh, which is full of good little mock-ups and patterns um, sports related things you can also get a similar thing on yellow images um, like this which you might have seen me use in my nfl jersey redesign video um, the yellow images one's a little more expensive you get um, 15 dollars for one view so for the three views it'd be 45 or if you get i got three views so it was 45 dollars the front angled and back um, and the one in my uh, template FC store comes with the front back and angled and side version and it's a little cheaper um, right now it's five dollars off I don't know if it'll be like that when this video goes out but this price may change uh, just depending on how things go but you get eight files in total with this you get the four uniform angles and you get the four helmet angles and you're gonna be able to see some of the cool things we can do with them I don't know if there's any free template mockups like this. Um, at least when I was initially doing my project, I didn't find any. I'm sure, there might be 2D ones, but not 3D ones. Um, creating these mockups takes a lot of work, so I really doubt there is one, but maybe there is. And if there is, I'll link it in the description. They all usually work in the same way. But here we are in Photoshop, and you can see this is the angled mockup, and we got the front, back, side. They all work the same and they're all pretty easy to use. I'm going to be just using this angled one because it is the most unique since it's not straight on. Um, so there are some changes you may have to make as you go to make things fit. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that a little bit. So we're going to be creating a Green Bay Packers alternate jersey that I will be doing that will be a part of an NFL uniform analysis video that I'm doing with Bacon. If you're interested, check it out. But when creating something like this, I always recommend adding the logo first to get the colors. So we're going to open up the designs folder and open up the helmet. And you can see we have chin um, options to add a design on the chin strap and on the front of the helmet. So these are all separate smart objects and then you have the helmet design. So we're going to open up the helmet design. And once you do that, you want to get your logo and add it in. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this Packers logo into our document here. And you can see we already have a logo set up and a stripe. And you'll notice the logo is tilted slightly. And that's because the angled helmet view, since it's a bit odd, um, you have to just tilt it slightly so it looks straight on. And it's just easier to do it that way than um, messing with the warp to get it differently because you get an elongated logo and it might look weird um, but anyway let's get this Packers logo and set it up so I'm gonna make it slightly bigger than the logo that's already here width wise kind of align it the same rotate it the same and we'll try 15 degrees first and delete our logo that's already there and let's get these colors so I'm gonna click here get the green and then I'm gonna click the other one of our panels there and get the yellow. And then what I'm gonna do is go to Window Libraries. And you should have a colors option here. Well, double click on your green and add two swatches and you can name it if you want. And then click the yellow and also add to swatches. Click OK, cancel. And then you'll notice we have our green and our yellow here. And I also recommend doing that with black and white, which I have set up here. And I will just delete this one for now. So we have yellow, green, black, and white all set up. And with this stripe that's already here, you'll notice I can go to this blue and click the green and it'll change our color to that. So that's why we have those saved here. So we can easily change the color of things. If not, we'd have to double click on it and then like select that green over here and that gets a little um, it becomes a bit of a hassle so let's save this and once we save this it will update over here and there you go you can see we get our Packers logo 
And if that looks off to you, say that angle looks a bit off, I think it's actually pretty good. Um, but we can come in here and rotate it again. So Command T, hold Shift, rotate it another 15 degrees, save it. <clears throat> and then that looks a little straighter. And it really depends on the logo. You might have to mess with it. Also, I think this is a little too far forward. So we're going to move the whole thing back slightly. There we go. I think that's pretty good, and I think we can move on. Obviously, the helmet color is wrong right now, but let's open up the colors folder now, and we can go through the colors. So I'm going to close the designs folder, open up the colors, and open up the helmet. You can see we have a bunch of options here. So first of all, we want to go to helmet, and I'm going to click that and click our yellow, since that's the main color. And you'll notice the helmet right now is super reflective. And that's because if we go up to the top, the reflective option is set. And you can see if we uncheck that, we then get a matte helmet look. Um, and you also can do the glossy. So in the Packers case, they would be glossy. So I'm going to roll with that. But if that's not enough for you, you can always check the reflective. And if that's too overpowering, you can bring down the opacity and it'll still give it a glossy look. It just changes the glossiness. Um, of it. So actually we'll, we'll do something like that. We'll go like 40% and call that pretty good. That's a pretty cool helmet. It's not exactly what they would have, but it's pretty nice. Um, also, if you have this reflectance uh, or this reflective layer all the way up, but you don't want it to affect the stripes in the logo, um, wait until you have all your logo and stripe things set and then go to your helmet design layer and command click the smart object you can see that will select our designs here and if we go to that reflective layer make um, our background color black click that layer mask press command delete and then command d to deselect it will delete the reflection on the stripe and logo so then they're just like the stickers would be um, so that's just a quick tip but if you get rid of that design or change it you'll see it no longer affects it so you're gonna have to go back to the previous design but we'll just go ahead and leave that alone for now let's go back to the um, helmet and we'll change the face mask color so we'll make that um, I don't know why I double clicked we can just click up here and make it green you can also have a bit of a reflective face mask so if I select that and do the green you can see we get a reflective option which this is just a layer style so you can tweak this as well so if that glow is too much, you can knock it down, um, adjust the size completely up to you. I'm going to cancel it because this is from, this is usually viewed from a distance. So when you're zoomed out, it looks um, a little better typically. Um, but we'll just go with the default face mask. Let's go down to the bottom. I'm going to check base and we'll make the base green uh, because you'll get these weird lines along the face mask. And that just cleans them up and makes them um, green. You just want a darker color there typically, and it will hide any of the seams. Let's also change the bolt color. So let's click that, click the green, and the holster color will make yellow to match the helmet. Everything else I'm gonna leave alone because they're just white or gray. And we can close that folder and let's go through the rest of the color objects so the next thing we have is gloves and in this mock-up this view the gloves are linked together um, I did that so it's easier but you can always separate them by duplicating them and then um, using the layer mask to hide one side uh, but right now they are linked together and if I select and hold shift all these blue ones I can go and click yellow and it will make all of those yellow. And then I can select the black and select the other black and make them green. Now on the other mockups, each glove is separate. So you'd have to do that for the right and left hand. This is the only one where it's all in one. Let's open up the shirt now. And I'm gonna select everything first. And I'm actually gonna make it white because we're gonna be doing a white jersey. So let's do that and select the white we have. But you can see we have a lot of different options we can mess with too. So 
Um, part of the collar that they wear on their white jersey is green, so if we go to the collar, we can make that green. If we wanted the collar back to be white, uh, we could do that, but it's also going to be green, so we want the whole collar to, to be green like that. And if I hide these designs, you can kind of see that better. Um, but you also have color options for the shoulders, so we could make those green if we wanted. Um, same thing with these sleeves, we could make those like yellow. Um, but obviously we're keeping this all white. And then you also have the sides, which we're gonna leave white. And then you have the shirt, which is the main part, the undershirt, which is obviously the undershirt, which we're gonna make green. And then the seams are just all the parts in between that might show through. So you wanna make that the main base color. If it's not a white jersey and it's a colored jersey, you're gonna probably wanna make it a darker color, just an FYI. Um, let's go to the pants, and I'm not making this a typical yellow pant Packers jersey. It's actually going to be green pants. Um, mix it up a little bit, so I'm just going to select everything and make it green. You could also make the belt like yellow um, and mix things up like that. Actually, that looks pretty good. I might stay with that. Uh, and then let's go to the shoes. So we got the socks. Leave the Packers wear green socks. The shoes will make green, and then the bottom will make yellow. And the shoes are actually the only part where I don't have smart objects set up to add your design because I've noticed that I never actually look at the shoes and when designing I don't put anything on the shoes. So I'm just not including smart objects there. It's better if you don't notice the shoes. It's more about the overall design anyway. But there we go. There's our whole thing done. You could also mess with the base here. Um, but if you make it like white, you can see some things might show through in these darker colors. So I'm going to leave it black and you really won't notice. Um, but it fills in all the seams and stuff, which is what we want. And that's why it's there. Um, once we're done with that, we can close our color library. And another thing we can do is, um, well, let's again turn down the um, reflective helmet. If we come to our lighting options here, You'll notice we have an option that says darken and lighten and this just depends on the jersey you're doing sometimes it might be too bright with too many um with too many highlights so you might want to darken it up like so um or if it's too dark and you want to lighten it up you can always lighten it up like so and those are just two options there to be easy tweaks to things um, you can of course add levels and things and customize it to your liking if you're experienced in Photoshop, but those settings are there for you. Um, but now we can get to the good stuff and add the designs. So I think the helmet's done. I'm going to um, hide the chin design and let's open up the front design and hide the checker. And then we're just going to put some text here as an example, um, like Green Bay. Obviously this is way too big, so let's press Command T, hold Alt, and just decrease the size a little bit. Press Save, and then you'll see that will update there. It's actually hidden behind the face mask, so we could bring it up just a bit. And there it is. So that's the front part that you can add a design to. Typically it says um, like Riddle or whatever the company is, or you can put a logo there. It's up to you. I kind of like leaving it blank sometimes too. The next group we got are the gloves and you can see we can open up both of these and let's hide the front design. I haven't done anything too crazy with the glove designs because it's really not that important, but if we get the logo here and drag it over, I usually do something like this where I just fill the entire thing with the logo. Press save, bring it over to the other one, hide our other logo there, save that. And then you can see that's just an easy way to add the team colors to um, the gloves. And you could do a little more if you wanted to, but, um, and that option's there, but that's all I typically do. And you can only add customization to the back of the gloves. Um, that might change in the future with updates, but uh, for right now, this is what it is. Now we can move on to the shirt. And you can see this is the most customizable part of the whole jersey because obviously there's a lot of different parts you might want to add designs to. So first of all, we have five collar options. 
and it seems like a lot but really it's not um, so this front one is just this part here you could have it visible have it hidden but this is typically where the logos would go for like the nfl or in college football you might have like the conference there or a team logo or something there um, so that's an option there but you could always hide it and just have the connected stripes and then the next four are all identical um, or basically identical layers that um, have the collar designs so you can see we have the back collars and then the front collars so we're actually going to open these up real quick all five of these and add some things so i'm actually going to do the um, all of them but the front collar first let's click out of the gloves as well so right collar left collar right collar back and left collar back and we already have some stripes here for us um, as a default that we can use and this will come in handy for the Packers um, as they have stripes on their collar. Um, their stripe is yellow with some white edge strokes on green. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's go here to the bottom and add a solid color. And if we had our libraries back up and got our green and then we can close this again. We have that and then the black we are going to make white and then the white one we're going to make yellow and then come to the white one and let's make it a bit thinner like so and there is the packer stripe and what we can do then is bring that color fill up select those three save this bring it to the other one save it bring it to the next one and hopefully these are lining up pretty well there we go let's make sure this one's centered too there we go and then finally this one there we go if we save the, all those come back there we go there is our stripe pattern um, nice and simple and I think these are reflected um, so whatever you do to one of these layers if you do the same exact thing to the next one it will flip it for you automatically so you don't have to worry about flipping it um, but there you go let's close all of those open up the front collar and let's do something interesting maybe maybe we make this white to blend in even though um, Packers, this wouldn't be white, this would just be the NFL logo. So let's grab the NFL logo, set it in here. We'll hide our other text, save that. And there you go, there is the NFL logo. But um, like I said, the Packers is more like this without the background so yeah there you go now let's go to the shirt design and the Packers design is super simple um, so we can get rid of the Nike logo get rid of the template FC logo uh, maybe bring the text up here and hide all the effects we just need white text um, actually we need green text because we're doing the white jersey so let's go ahead and make that green and let's go ahead and get the Packers font I think this is actually pretty cool close to the Packers font. I don't know if theirs is different. Yeah, this actually this actually is a version that can be used as the Packers font. So let's just save it and see what we got. Cool. Um, that's right. Let's maybe Command T and increase the size a little bit to fill out um, a lot of that open space. Yeah, there we go. Now let's open up the right shoulder and left shoulder. And we can do the same thing here. Now these are actually not text layers, so we can go ahead and grab um, our one from the shirt design, bring it over, Command T, rotate it, hold Shift, decrease the size then. Let's line it up. There we go. Save that. 
drag over to our other side, rotate, line it up, save that guy, come back, and there we go. It's looking pretty good. We could do a little bigger on those shoulder numbers maybe, but I think that we're pretty all right. So let's go ahead and close those layers. Now, before we go to the sleeves, I want to bring up the cuffs. So the cuffs are the trim, the sleeve trim, essentially. So this part right here, um, I don't know if you can really see that part because it kind of blends in. There we go. So you can see this is the cuff um, design and not a lot of teams have designs there. Um, you mainly kind of see it in college, I suppose. I don't know if any NFL teams have it. I can't think of any off the top of my head. But it's an option, and so you could add cu custom designs there, but we aren't going to do that. We're just going to move right onto the sleeves. So let's open up the right sleeve and the left sleeve, and we're actually going to open up one of these collars real fast and get that stripe design and drag it onto one of our sleeves, which we're going to have to rotate the other way. And obviously we need the green one, so let's duplicate the white one on the bottom. Get that bottom rectangle, make it green. Press Command T, hold Alt, and let's increase the size. So I think maybe that's the right spacing. Let's hide the grid on the bottom. Let's check the Nike um, logo because that will be visible here. Let's bring it more towards the top, and if we add effects, double click, color overlay. We can select the green and then cool. Let's bring that stripe down a little bit and save that. So there we go. There's our sleeve design. The Packers is probably a little bigger. Yeah, something like that. And maybe we move that up a bit. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, and now I want to mention that sometimes with your designs, they might not line up and look good. <clears throat> For example, if I did this and this stripe um, did not follow this cuff like it does, I might want to make adjustments. So if you ever want to change where items are and you can't and you, you're messing with it on the smart object layer and it's not working, you can always come into the layer here, click the link to unlink it select the thumbnail and go to edit transform warp and you'll notice we get this warp tool and we can change how the smart object is warped now make sure you have the original template saved somewhere so if you make any mistakes you can come back um, and have the original but you can move these around to maybe fit better so maybe if i wanted a real janky stripe i could move that all the way up um, but yeah, if you have any problems, feel free to mess with that warp tool to get the, your desired effect. But let's go ahead and drag our design over to the left sleeve. Hide our grid. Let's make the Nike logo visible. I'm going to come back over here and copy the layer style from that Nike logo to this one. And also bring that one up. Let's save. I don't know if you'll see the Nike. Okay, you barely will. Um, and we're going to have to knock that whole thing down a bit. Maybe bring the Nike logo down a little bit as well. Save it. And there we go. There's our design looking pretty good. And we're going to come in to our right arm and left arm design real fast. And you can see this is the undershirt which you may or may not want to add a design to. For the most part I don't add anything to mine but it may be an option that you want to um, do something with. So if I open up, you can see we have a couple rectangles here. This black one I was using as a guide to line them up evenly. So I would just make it the same color as the background. But for the most part, I just wouldn't have it visible. But let's make these yellow um, just so we have something to do here. And we can close those out and if you think it looks dumb you can just hide it you could also add nike logos there since that's a little more accurate i think you see nike logos on the on those undershirts 
Um, let's go to the pants now, and we only have two options for the pants. We have the right leg and left leg. Depending on the view though, you might have more, um, like the side view has front and back. But this is just right leg and left leg. So on the green pants here, let's go ahead and add the color overlay to the Nike logo and add the color fill. And you'll notice we're not going to add a stripe to the left pant. Uh, because if there were to be one visible here, you can see it would be really big um, and would be basically on the front of the pants, so it's not visible, but the right one is. So let's go in here. Uh, we could add a logo, but I believe the Packers would just be the NFL logo, so I already added that to the front. I'm going to just leave it. So let's hide it. And this is set up differently. It's not two rectangles. It's actually a rectangle with a stroke. Um, so uh, there's no real reason for it, it's just how it happened while I was designing. But we're going to make the rectangle white and we'll make the stroke yellow. Save that and there we go. It would look a lot better with the logo that kind of completes it. Um, let me just go ahead and add that real quick. There we go, that's a little more satisfying. Um, and then our last step here is the socks. So let's open up both the socks. And I left this right leg open because we can go ahead and grab um, these stripes since they're already done for us. Rotate them. We'll put them like in the middle. Save. Bring it to the other one. Save. And there we go. There's our completed jersey essentially, and that's how you go about using the mock up. Um, since this is a super high quality mock up, you can zoom in basically anywhere and it'll be good quality um, that you can show off in your portfolio and things like that. If we go to the website, you'll notice that I zoomed in pretty far on some of these guys and the quality is still really good. Um, so you can really show these off. And it's the same with the yellow images ones or any ones that you get from other websites um, that you pay for and are at least a couple thousand pixels wide and high. You'll get some high quality mock-ups showing off your design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe for more tutorials. Follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. Check out my Instagram, that's Quezzy, where I post a lot of concept jerseys using mock-ups like these. And if you haven't seen my NFL redesign video, check it out in the link below. I think we're about to hit 500,000 views on it. So any support there is great. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.